All right, guys, I am doing the ever so enjoyable winter thought, and uh, I wanted to do 25 KC. I had five previous, I just did 10. I figured I'll open 10 crates and do more. Uh, this could pass as a form of torture. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Like, ugh. Uh, I've been fletching to get fletching experience instead of doing fire making for like fire or uh, fire fragments and hard clue scrolls because I figured fletching fragments and fletching uh, experience would be more useful. And as long as I get one crate per game, I don't really care. Let's open them up. Good more dynamite. I gotta go back and get adamant ore at some point. And then this way I don't have to buy it or make it. Although, it's not like I'm hurting for money. Um, any unique would be nice. Tome of Fire would be pretty fantastic. The pet would be okay. Magic Seeds would be, you know, significantly better. Oh, uh, that's disappointing. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll be back with the next 10. That is 25 Winter Todd kills and 95 fire making. Let's uh let's crack open these last ten. Well, last ten for now. We'll probably I'll probably do 25 more to get 99 fire making and get the 50 Winter Todd kills. But that will be that will be it <laughs> probably for Winter Todd. That is like in retrospect, it takes like maybe three minutes a game, but it's like. I don't even know. It's just not, does not make me happy. <coughs> Alright, let's crack these open. Oh my god! Oh, just kidding. That is cool though, because I think that's an achievement. Pfft, no. Alright, at the very least, it's one more piece of warm clothing. I think it's recommended to use four, and I actually only had three. I know I could have went and got four, but, you know. Yeah, no. Oh, that's it? Man, that's, man, that's sad. <laughs> I guess out of 25 kills, I can't expect to get, like, you know, everything. And, uh, I guess while we're here, let me put this here, I guess. While we're here, let's grab these, this, and we'll get rid of these. I'll just dump out half that garbage. We need this guy, we need... A vial of water. We need a pistol and mortar. And we can do that and do that and do that. And that's making a combat potion.
little recap, everybody. So I've been doing some stuff. Uh, as you can see, I got a bunch of uh, various tasks, but I am still pretty far away, and I really wanted to get all seven to go do some serious bossing. Uh, I did go and get the 50 Strachnus kills, but I'm still pretty far away, so I'm not entirely sure uh, how I'm going to go about doing it yet, but the last elite clue I have wants me to score a score a goal in Skull Ball, which I have to do the Werewolf Agility course, get the Ring of Chorus anyway, so I'm going to get to it eventually, but I'm going to take a break, and I figured um, this here elite casket's kind of like burning a hole in my metaphorical pocket, so let's open it up. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Yes, I want a chance to fight the Mimic. You must enable the chance of a Mimic boss fight by speaking to the strange casket found upstairs at Watson's house in Hosidius. I have done this before, and it, like... I, I, for some reason, I did something wrong, or it just didn't work. Um, and I was and I was I scared, because I never fought it before. And I didn't know what to take with me. So, where the heck... What am I trying to do here? There we go. So let's, uh... Let's, 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 let's unlock some junk. That, that's what we're going to do real quick. As you can see, 166 stage renowned. Like, like, yeah, I got enough points for everything, but I don't have enough points to get seven fragments. So, uh, I'm just going to unlock pretty much everything that I can. I don't think I can do Abyssal yet. Yeah, 85, 85 Slayer, I don't think I have that. Yeah, no, not yet. Like 83 or something. What is this one? Uh, 95, uh, 91, I'm not going to bother with Chamber of Zarek until, like, last minute. We do have 70 agility now, so let's get Commander Ziliana. And poof. Uh, okay, and let's get, let's get Corporal Beast. I might actually do that. I might actually try it at some point or another. I'm not sure what exactly. I've never done that before. I didn't have a lot of interest in it. And it doesn't seem like a lot of people talk about it much. Other than some glitch to like give it stats of a chicken or something. I never never really heard too much about it. Uh, grotesque Guardians we can do. I just want to make sure I save 20 for Kraken, because that is something I'm going to do, like, no matter what. Calfi Queen? Sure, why not? I do plan to do this eventually, because there's like two or three tasks there. <coughs> <coughs> now, I know, um, I think like every single achievement diary is a quest thing. I wish they would have added, like, uh... Like, a way I could spend points to complete achievement diaries, because I absolutely hate achievement diaries. Now, I can't do this yet. I'm not sure what my Slayer level is, but it's not 85. Or 87. Next. Then it takes more people. Nightmare, I think, is a multiplayer thing. Theater of Blood is definitely a multiplayer thing. I don't have the level for that yet, so that is it for now. Alright, uh, that unlocks a lot of stuff. What is my Slayer level? 82. How can I get to 87? If can I if I boost, can I get 87 and go fight Kraken? I might try that later. If I do that off camera, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm just going to test it and see. Anyways, to Hosidious. Uh, Glade. Now, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Like, I, I don't know where where the Mimic dude is. Uh, who, I don't even remember what it said. Uh, maybe I should have looked this up. <laughs> you think there'd be, like, a, a symbol or something for this guy, because he would be relatively important. Watson, that's the guy. Okay. I mean, there's a teleport. It's not really a... It's not really a, a symbol specifically for the Mimic, but hey, you know what? That is a, uh, that is a thing. There's, there's like achievements.
for the whole mimic thing. So, so that's kind of exciting. Oh yeah. Uh, while we're while we're having this little chit chat, I finally, finally, and I, I know it's in the clips. I know it's in the the uh, uh, screenshots. But I finally got a bloody crystal implant. Like. Like, I, I'm in shock how long that took. And it was super weird how I got it. Because I was just like, I just got back from a teleport, and I ran to use the restroom. And I came back, and it was just chilling there. I think the RuneScape gods were were gifting me for for my dedication to a to a felling game. Not not a felling. How, no, that's not what I meant to say. I don't think this game's felling anytime soon. Uh, I meant more like... Knowing I'll never be the best, but yet still giving it the good old try, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Can I? Is there a check? What? What do I do? I mean, I don't even care if I lose. Ah, uh, there, there we go. Do you seek to challenge the mimic? Yeah, sure. Uh, yes, I, I want to. I want to fight the mimic with what I have on me. I am prepared to die. Sure, let's do it. I hope I don't lose anything for dying. Um, let's actually do this because I feel like this is going to be a little bit stronger than the rune crossbow, considering the relics I have. Uh, initially. Oh. So I guess I don't fight the Mimic. I'm gonna figure that out someday. That's 100 League Points of 6 Sage Renown, though. So that's kinda cool. Um, that's get, getting us ever so slightly more closer. Closerly. Um. I'll figure out the Mimic thing eventually. And, uh, catch you guys in a little bit. Alright. So as you can see, we're down to a thousand points away. I figured this would be a good time to start editing up this uh, this video. Uh, so, a bit of a recap. All right, so I did a ton of like interesting tasks. Uh, I forgot to hit the record button on killing the Calphi Queen, but uh, that was pretty simple. Probably could have did better, first time ever. But you know, it, it was pretty pretty simple. Uh, we got Dragon Boots. And we did, and I, I thought to myself that one pair just wasn't enough, so I got three of them. Um, I actually did a Slayer task, and I just completed it, and ended up with three sets of Dragon Boots, and I got the Black Mask, either this episode or last episode. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh, as far as upgrades are concerned, I think, uh, I think Dragon Boots were pretty much it. Uh, we did get the Burial Fight the Staff, which I don't really think is an upgrade... But it does have, it does have some uses. I mean, maybe not so much in leagues, but it does have some uses. Uh, just put that where it goes. Uh, but I think I'm gonna, yeah, I gotta stash these guys in my house and stuff. But I think with, uh, with that, I got 25 Seractus kills. Well, 50 total, but 25 this episode. Uh, I killed possibly the Mole, possibly the Calphi Queen. I uh, got, uh, I don't even know, like, somewhere between 5 and 10 quests done, and more tasks than I'm I'm willing to count. Uh, getting the Crystal Impling was a pretty good thing. I still want to get enough uh, Crystal Shards to make a Enhanced Crystal Key, and to... Oh, we got this as well. This is something that's kind of good. Where, where did it go? Where did it go? Where is it? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh boy! Oh, there it is. We did get the uh, celestial ring. It's uncharged. I don't. I don't know how to charge it in junk. I don't really care. I uh, plan to make it into the crystal version, which does something about like saving charges, probably on like crystal armor and crystal weapons. I plan to do that eventually, but I need to get more crystal shards, which I might try to do. Like getting crystal implings is like pulling teeth, or you know, finding a needle in a haystack, or something. Some other weird. Uh, Quip analogy. I don't. I don't know the word. 
I still want to do Skatizo, but I can't find a good reason to go to the Catacombs, so sooner or later I'll do that. Uh, but I think I need 200 Crystal Shards at the very least. Uh, I could learn uh, the Gauntlet some more, but I think I want to... I really, 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 really want to get the, uh, the seventh tier and then go through and do a bunch of the boss stuff. Like, right now, my uh, inexperience is showing uh, with uh, things like the Gauntlet and stuff. Uh, we do, we did get a few, three acclimatical keys, I'm not sure how, uh, useful those are, I'm not entirely sure how that works, uh, to get to, like, Groudor and stuff, I think you have to have, like, a hundred kill count of a specific thing, or you can, like, open the door with these, and then I think I'd have to use something like Last Recall and, uh, an Absolute Unit to actually kill him, but we'll, we'll kind of see how that plays out. Having three is a is a pretty good start. I didn't get any from the spiritual mages. I don't know if they can actually drop them. I got all three of them from Bloodvelds, which I did for well for one for just for a Slayer task, so I can get the achievement here in the uh, Tree Gnome Stronghold uh, by killing a Bloodveld, which I'm not allowed to do unless I'm on task. And I just thought I could double it as going to the uh, God Wars dungeon and killing them there for acclimatical keys. So then I'd get uh, the achievement for killing a Bloodveld here, a Bloodveld in the uh, God Wars dungeon and entering the God Wars dungeon as well as getting an acclimatical key Which was I think three achievements. So I thought it was I thought it might have been worth it I got the sinister key a while ago. I might go do that and uh, There's a few things that I can do, but there's one thing uh, if it's if it's close to the top here. I'll, I'll talk about it uh, Yeah here the artifacts it's like still one still five still ten still 25 still 50 you know yada 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 until like it's like a million or some crazy crap um i'm imagining i've never done this before i'm imagining that it is super annoying uh, otherwise it wouldn't have so many tasks <laughs> it kind of seems to be like the the motif like uh like you know killing winter todd 500 times like who actually wants to sit and do that so i'm imagining that you know doing the artifacts for like to 100 is gonna be like you know trying to drill screws into your own leg or you know take out your own appendix so so yeah i'm not entirely sure if i want to if i want to get into that i'll probably do like the first few but i don't know if i'll get into like 25 or 50. i may go back to the uh to the karen library or the archaeus library to get uh a 50 or 100 books because it's fairly simple and it's fairly easy runecrafting experience and I never went and did the uh, vampire essence stuff the daylith essence I think it's called so there's a there's a task for getting 2,000 of those which might be something I do potentially because it's something new to do and it sounds it sounds fairly simple and fairly afk so it's probably something I'll check into uh, I've thought for sure I would have got open 10 grubby chests by you know 50 seracnus kills plus I was uh bursting temple spiders here and there, plus I was killing the, uh, the mages, the, the chaos druids, or whatever they're called, undead druids, uh, for a little bit to stock up on early game runes. I thought for sure I'd have got 10 grubby chests by now. I gotta be close, but I guess I don't, so there, there's that. Uh, I'll probably never get this. Uh, doing the temple key might be useful. Purchasing a seed box is something we can do. But I got to go back to Tide Farm because I spent all my points on an herb sack, uh, full farmer outfit, uh, the never have to weed your garden again perk, and other stuff like that. So I think I need like 100 points to actually get this, and I'll probably do it just to do it. Uh, Tide Farm wasn't all that bad, and it's killer XP. Uh, as far as like Slayer stuff's concerned, like I want to do a bunch of this, but it's like... To stock up on that kind of points is going to be a bit of a challenge. I made a few early game mistakes where I had to skip more tasks than I'd like to admit. And I really don't want to... I don't want to resort to, to what these people do to, to you know, cheese the system to, to stack up on, you know, quadrillion points. Uh, for one, I don't really blame them now that I'm getting more into it. I kind of see how it's a major benefit to get a bunch of Slayer points early on. 
It's just, I don't want to resort to that. Like, I feel like that is straight up cheating. Like, just because it's available, just because it's possible, doesn't mean you should probably do it, you know? Yeah, it makes the game easier. Yeah, it can put you on top. Yeah, it can give you those little perks and benefits, but I just, personally, I'm just like, that is, that is something that was probably unintended. I could, I cannot imagine that they, they purposely let that slide, you know? Uh, but other than that, there is a bunch of stuff we still can do. The Penguin Agility Course, nice and simple. Deposit an item from uh, Pier the Seer should be pretty easy. I, I might have to do, like, the Fremenic things for that. Equip a Brine Saber. I did a, uh, I think two, I think I did, like, two or three rat tests, uh, from Spiria or whatever her name is, and I still haven't got that drop. I thought I had got it by now, but I figured we could circle back to that. It's only 25 points. Uh, defeat a Steel Dragon. I, I would like to go try to fight a Rune Dragon and a, uh, and a, uh, an Adamant Dragon, which I think are both tasks, but I'm not entirely sure. I've never done it. I haven't done Dragon Slayer 2 yet, so I'm not entirely sure how to do that or what the best option would be. And defeat a Mithril Dragon, I'm almost positive I could do with the perks and stuff, but we'll, we'll kind of see. Uh, spot your cape, I've never done that. Uh, I guess I could go do it. I have all the stuff to make the, uh, the, the Brudu shields and stuff from, do I did all the, uh, all or most of the Taya Bonawoda tasks, Taya Boawana, the, the Tribesman Village tasks. Uh, anything that involves other players is something I'm going to put off to, like, when I absolutely have to do it. Uh, there's two reasons for that. One, I ain't got no friends, or <laughs> I have very few friends, so... To actually get a group together to do this, you know, I could go to the clan chat or go to the certain worlds, but I always feel like if they're random strangers, the likelihood of at least one or two of them being tryhards and, you know, me dragging them down would make me feel bad. Like, yeah, I don't like tryhard players, but it's their prerogative to, to be that way, and I don't want to hinder their progress because I kind of suck at most of these mini games. So... I mean, it, it, it's just, there's multiple reasons why I don't want to do that. It's just, for me, it's just not fun. Granite legs, I don't know how to get those. I think that's probably from uh, the pest control, I think. Or that's at least the granite bodies there. Uh, I did do, not pest control, barbarian assault. I did do pest control because I actually slightly know what I'm doing there. It was one of the few games that I actually kind of liked. So, I kind of knew a little bit about that. Uh... Uh, there, there's a lot of these, like here, uh, Scarab Mage, Orange Salamanders, Ten Squirt Juices. I could probably do all these within a half an hour or so. It's just, to actually think about it in the moment, I haven't been doing. Uh, there's still a few quests left. I think there's like two I haven't done. So that's something I should probably do. But before I uh, drag this out too much, because I'm going to have, I think, three boss montages and probably you know, almost like a minute's worth of screenshots that I have to doctor up to, uh, to put into the video. I don't want to drag this out too long. Ooh, a me medium, medium temple trekker. I could probably do that too. And the salves amulet. There's a lot of things for Shades of Morton, but I haven't done that in a really long time, and uh, I've just kind of been putting it off. Uh, I, I've killed a uh, uh, crazy archaeologist quite a bit and haven't got a fedora yet either. Uh, but a lot of this, if I had some RNG in my favor, I could pump out a bunch of these, but I just haven't been, it hasn't been too, uh, good for me, I mean, to be honest. Uh, alright, like I said, uh, I'm gonna edit all this up. I, well, technically, in you guys' view, I have already edited all this up, so, future me says, get to work. Past me says, get to work. Future me says, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.